consider Margaret Sanger. Margaret Sanger, the, the patron saint of Planned Parenthood, who's taught as a wonderful American in schools. There's a bust of her in the Smithsonian, I believe. Margaret Sanger, one of the most wicked women in American history. Talk about statues that should come down. No one, no one ever seems to tear down her statue. Margaret Sanger offered a substantive moral vision about abortion, about life that is perverse. She, it, it's exactly the opposite of reality. But listen, listen to her vision for life. Not so different than the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party. Not so different from the left today. Do you believe in sin? When I say believe, I don't mean in believe in committing sin. Do you believe there is such a thing as, a, as sin? Well, I think the greatest sin in the world is bringing children into the world that have mm, disease from their parents, that have no chance in the world to be a human being, practically. Delinquents, prisoners, all sorts of things just mark when they're born. That, to me, is the greatest sin that people can, can commit. But sin in the ordinary sense that we regard it, do you believe or do you not believe? Well, what? What would they be? Do you believe that infidelity is a sin? Well, I don't, I'm not going to specify what I think is sin. I've stated what I think is the worst sin. The yes, sin. but then you asked me to say what, and I, and I said what, and, and, and uh, you refused to answer me? Ah, yes. I don't know about infidelity. It has so many personalities to it, and what person's own belief is. You can't, I couldn't generalize um, any of those things. Consider the perversity of that. This is one of the great heroes of the American left. And, and really, you know, consider the, the great hero of Planned Parenthood. She says that the worst sin in the world is letting people live. The worst sin in the world is not killing people. And then the interviewer, Mike Wallace, says, what about all the sins that we consider sins? You know, like, you know, violating the Ten Commandments, that sort of thing. Adultery. She goes, well, I don't know about that. I can't talk about adultery. Well, of course not. Because if, if for this woman, the highest virtue is killing people, I suppose the highest virtue for her would be consent to do all of these terrible things. She, she is offering, a, I mean, a, truly a satanic vision of the world, saying that the, the worst thing you can do is let human beings live. But that is a moral vision. We need to oppose that with an opposite moral vision. If we don't do that, then we, then we are consenting to the left running roughshod over the whole culture. And frankly, we deserve what we get if we're not willing to actually stand up and oppose it. This video is sponsored by BlinkSale, the revolutionary invoicing software for contractors and small businesses. Spend less time billing and more time making bank with BlinkSale. Get a free trial at the link in the video description.